The following content is provided under 4D Science Group. Hi everyone, my name is Anas. I'm a chemistry student at Harry Kwat University. Today we'll be solving an example of material balance. Actually, material balance is how much materials comes to or out of the processes. For chem en engineer, it's really important to know how much materials get into or out of the process. Uh, this is the question. It's actually just typical of mass balance. And the one that is the applying mass balance table. So here, we got this balance equation. And we get the amount of feet, which is 1,000 kmol of HCl plus water. And then we know here is like 0 0.6 of more fraction. And here as well is going to be 0 0.4 more fraction of water. So on here, we know it's like 0 0.5. So that's obvious. The water is going to be 0 0.5 of more fraction base. So now, first to solve this type of questions, just draw a flow diagram just to to diet up your ideas and clues so this is a system this is input and here's output so what we got in we got HCL in AOH and water okay what we got out water in ACL and reacted HCl so HCl in ACL and water just remember input is always equal to output this is a basic theory you must know so now just perform this table I just done it already because I don't want to waste time so just write the components before the reaction after the reaction the gram mass formula so here is the number of moles number of mass number of moles number of mass so firstly just write the gram mass formula and we need that just to convert the moles to mass so for NaOH the gram mass formula is 40 Oops. Sorry guys, I'm gonna write in another pen. Forty and HCl is thirty six. The water is eighteen. The NaCl which is so here the total actually we actually we don't need the total that much we just need it in the mass so here we don't care we don't care of total of moles we don't care here the only thing is just the, ma the total mass the total mass input just and now simply just write down the input data we got the input here in mole base, so we're gonna write it down there. Um, actually, I made a mistake to write 600 here. 600, which uh, must be like hydrochloric acid. So here gonna be 600. That's gonna be 0 0.5 times 700. That's gonna be three. So now just convert it to mass. So 350 times 40. That's gonna be 14,000. That's 
gonna be kilogram. So hit the same idea. Six hundred times thirty six. Six hundred. That's gonna be one six zero zero. And the amount of water is. So the amount of water is just the sum of the water in here. What comes in with HCl and the sum of water what comes in in AOH. So that's going to be 0 0.4 times 1000 plus 0 0.5 times 700. And that's going to be 400 plus 350. That's going to be 750 kmol. And that we're going to convert it and just times 18. 500. Actually, here we have no NSCL, so that there is no of this. So now we got, we're going to find out the total, the total mass input mass so that's gonna be 14,000 plus 21600 plus 13500 zero zero and that's gonna be 49100 zero zero kilogram of material input so now we're gonna apply the same method after reaction So, actually the limited reagent here is in AOH because it has this smaller base. So, here it's going to be 350. It's going to react with 350 from here. So, the excess HCl is going to be 600 minus 350. That's going to be 250. I'm going to convert it again times 3, 6, which is 9,000 kilogram. The limiting reagent is going to be always zero after reaction because it's going to be finished. So here is zero. The amount of H2O is equal to the amount input, which is this amount plus the amount created after the reaction so that's going to be 350 plus 750 that's going to be 1900 19800 so the amount of NACL created is 350 times 58 that's going to be 20300 sorry, sorry guys P0 100 and now we can calculate the total so just sum up all of these so 9000 plus 19800 plus 20300 that's gonna be 49100 
zero, zero. So now, so as we can see, just exactly the, the same. So here, in theory, the amount input equal to the amount output, as we saw here in the example. So just a quick review for the question. We got the balance equation, just write down the data, draw a flow diagram, just draw the table, it's much easier, you can do it in your own way, but I prefer the table, just like tidy and very easy to write, and it's easy to distinguish the mistakes, because in the total, if, if it's not matched, if it's not equaled, that's you made mistakes somewhere in the table, so it's really easy to to find your mistake and correct it uh, correct it quickly. So that's all. Hope you good luck. Thank you very much.